In this short video, I want to talk about the interpretation of the results of analysis of variance, particularly with respect to the interpretation of the interaction. Remember that analysis of variance is testing hypotheses about averages. And in these examples, I've got plotted averages of three locations sampled at two different times or on two different occasions. And I've plotted in error bars here to give you an idea of the magnitude of the variation around each of the means. Up in the table in the top left, I've got the means for each location at each time, the overall mean for each location, and underneath the overall mean for time 1 and time 2. And then down in the table underneath that, I've got the results of the analysis of variance, simply presented in terms of which sources of variation would be significant. So for this particular situation, the location source would be significant, because there's clearly a difference between location 1 and the other locations. Judging by the error bars, locations 2 and 3 are probably not different. The most apparent difference is between location 1 with a mean of 60 and the other two locations with a mean of around 30 to 35. So in the analysis we would see the location source as significant. The time source would not be significant. You can see the average at time 1, 41.7, is the same as the average at time 2. And the interaction would not be significant. And that is because the change from time 1 to time 2 is the same at all three locations. And in fact, there is no change from time 1 to time 2. The average for time 1 and time 2 is the same at all three locations. Right, let's move on to our second example. In this particular example, again, the location source of variation would be significant because there is a difference between the locations and in fact the magnitude of that difference is the same as in the previous graph. But now the time effect would also be significant. There's clearly a change from time 1 to time 2 in the average levels of pollution. You can see that in the numbers over here. The average level of pollution at time 2 is nearly double that at time 1. The same magnitude of difference exists between the locations. Location 1 averages about 30 higher in terms of pollution than locations 2 and 3, which average about 50 to 55 and are not very different. The interaction here would not be significant because the change from time 1 to time 2 is the same at all locations. In other words, these lines show the same trend through time. Let's move on to example 3. OK, now in this example, all three sources of variation would probably be significant. There is a difference between locations. Location 1 has higher levels of pollution than locations 2 and 3, which again don't differ very much, with averages for location 1 of 80 compared to 32.5 and 37.5 for locations 2 and 3. There's also a change over time. It's not as big as in the previous graph because the change is largely confined to the location number 1. It shows an increase from 60 at time 1 to 100 at time 2, whereas the other two locations only show changes or increases of about 5 in levels of pollution. This difference in the change is what would make the interaction term significant. The interaction term says that the pattern for the three locations in terms of change through time is not the same. Say that again. The pattern in terms of change through time is not the same at all three locations. 
Now inspection of the graph here suggests that the main difference is between location 1 which shows a large increase and locations 2 and 3 which show a slight increase if indeed any increase at all. Now actually sorting out which means differed and which did not is partly done by interpretation of the graph to be more um, certain we would follow the analysis of variance up with some type of test such as a Tukey's test or other multiple comparisons test. Moving to the last example here I graphed a rather more complicated situation and that complication is illustrated in the results of the analysis of variance. The location term would not be significant, the time term would not be significant, but the interaction term would be significant. Why is this the case? Well let's go up here to the table of averages. First of all we can see that time 1 and time 2 have average levels of pollution of 65, so there's actually no change. And then if we look at the averages for the three locations, all three locations average 65. So on average there's no difference among the three locations either. So that means the location term or the location source would not be significant and the time source would not be significant. But the graph clearly shows that something is going on and what we have clearly is a large increase in levels of pollution at location 1 and a large decrease in levels of pollution at locations 2 and 3. So there is an interactive effect between these two factors. The change through time is not the same at both locations. The change at locations 2 and 3 is also slightly different. So location 2 drops slightly more than location 3. But again, given the variability around those averages, that difference in change might not be significant. Again, to actually sort that out, we would need to do some further testing, either in the analysis of variance or with some multiple comparisons tests, such as Tukey's test. Okay, so in looking at an analysis of variance table and interpreting the results, you need to look at which sources of variation are significant and which are not significant and interpret that in terms of the underlying means or the underlying uh, things that are being looked at or sampled and also look at the patterns illustrated by graphs or in more detailed tables to see what interpretation we actually put on each of these sources of variation. I hope that helps.